You guys have been asking for it and it has finally arrived. Enscape has integrated AI in their software. We all know that up to now, people and vegetation, grass and so on was actually really bad in Enscape. It just looks so fake. But now with this new tool, it is truly a game changer. It's actually a really exciting feature to see how AI will enhance our image. Even further, I mean, we can see already quite a lot of softwares, for example, DeFi Render, who have already introduced this. So to see that Enscape is catching up and listening to uh, is actually a great news. If you haven't seen yet, Enscape 4.1 has been released and there's quite a lot of feature in this video. We're just going to be talking about Chaos AI Enhancer, but they've released very briefly a new feature to enable you to view your building's energy performance at an early stage. Uh, they've also released an artistic visual mode, so I will share with you a new video on that topic and how this can be actually applied and at which stage in your design conception. They've updated their shadows where now we can actually reflect color shadows. They've added a new pool of new asset library, mainly vegetation and people. So let me share with you exactly how to use this new AI enhancer. Right now, it's at the first experimental stage. The goal here is to add details to your renders. So as I was mentioning previously, Enscape has been having a lot of trouble providing good details when it came to like, people, when it comes to vegetation, plants, and grass as well. Now, this new Enscape AI enhancer is actually really simple. All you need to do is click on a button. When you are in your Enscape window, you're going to see there's a new button here that looks like a magic wand. Simply click on this button. This process is the same as if you wanted to export a standard render. It's going to ask you where you want to save it in your files and just click save. And you're going to see here, it usually takes between two to five minutes, depending on the size of your image. It will actually run through their machine learning algorithm and it would actually naturally isolate and improve these elements in your scene. I'm going to share with you a comparison of the before and after. The image will be fully upscaled from a full HD to a 4K resolution, all in the click of one button. So right now, as we speak, you can enhance 10 images per hour, and this will most likely change in the months to come as they improve the software. For me, honestly, this is quite a game changer. Bear in mind again that this is just the experimental stage right now, so I'm really looking forward to the upcoming new versions of AI that they will release in a later stage to see how much we can control the outcome, because right now, apart from clicking on it, we don't have any control. Uh, so that would be actually quite exciting to see. Now let's have a look here of the before and after in terms of the outcome. So on the left hand side, you have the previous image and on the right hand side, the new image. And you can really see right now, like how, for example, the reflection on the window really stands out and that looks amazing. The sharpness of the details, for example, this wood area here, the wood flooring as well, all the details as well. Here you can see from like the forest, even the vegetation, it looks so much more detailed and much more sharper. So let me just zoom in here. You can see here as well. You see, if I just come back to this plant, the quality and the resolution is incredible. One of the things that we still need to be careful is that they tend to kind of tweak slightly the original render. So, I mean, when you look here on my floor, I mean, they've added certain details that wasn't necessarily there. When you look also at the original person that I've added, uh, they've kind of changed slightly its origin, but you can really see like the face and the details are so much sharper and crisp. I find this feature right now, where it is right now, is actually very impressive. I would really highly recommend. And again, it's just so easy. You just click on a button and in two seconds, it just renders a much sharper, more detailed and higher quality render that you can share with your clients. If you like this content on my channel, please make sure to like and to subscribe and feel free to share all of your comments. I'm really curious to know how you use AI on a daily basis if it's something that you've already incorporated in your workflow. Go ahead and share your thoughts on AI in the comments below.